Hey kids, welcome to today's Hope Kids Daily Word. Today, it is, if you hadn't realised already, the best day ever, a day for celebration, because it's Easter Sunday. Let's hit that celebration song. Come on. Come on. Sorry for that. It is a celebration day, apologizing there for the terrible dancing, but it is a day to celebrate because Jesus has risen. He is alive. But let's read today's fantastic story. I know you might know it, but it's so great to be reminded of his amazing story of the resurrection. So let's get the pictures on the screen. Okay, so this is carrying on from Good Friday. And this guess, finishes off where we left it on Friday too with the guards being posted outside of the tomb and it was sealed and they were told to watch over it. On the third day, on the first day of the week, which was Sunday for them, Early in the morning, a group of women who were followers of Jesus set out for the tomb. Among them were Mary, the mother of James, and Mary Magdalene, and they were bringing spices and oils to embalm the body, put on the body, and wondered how they'd be able to roll back the heavy stone covering the tomb. Suddenly there was a violent earthquake as an angel of the Lord came from heaven, rolled back the stone covering the tomb entrance and sat on it. His appearance was as bright as lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so petrified, they trembled, and they ran off. When the women arrived at the tomb, because they had not seen all this, they noticed a large stone covering the entrance had been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw an angel, and they were alarmed. It means they were like, what is going on here? Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus. He was crucified, the angel said. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Now go quickly and tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with joy, and ran to tell Jesus' disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them, or some accounts say he just met Mary. Greetings, he said. They came closer to him, clasped his feet and worshipped him. Do not be afraid, Jesus told them. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee and they will see me there. The women rushed off to tell the disciples that Jesus was alive, but the disciples did not believe them. So Peter and John ran to the tomb to see what had happened. John arrived first and stared into the empty tomb. He saw strips of linen, looks like a cloth, lying there, but he did not go in. Simon Peter caught up and went straight into the tomb. He also saw the strips of linen lying there and the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Peter was puzzled and wondered what happened. He did not understand from the scriptures that it was God's plan for Jesus, the Messiah, who everyone had been waiting for, to suffer, to die, and then be raised to life again. What a great story that is. So great to be reminded of Jesus' resurrection, isn't it, kids? So today's message is really simple. This Jesus... God's son, who had died for us, had taken our sins, all the things we've done wrong, onto the cross, and he'd taken our punishment for them, what we, that we deserved. He took them, and he died. But he didn't just die and stay there. He rose again. He conquered. He overcame death, and he rose again. All our sin, all the things we've done wrong, those lies, those nastiness, the fighting we might do, 
all that was paid for by Jesus. It was all gone, never to be seen again. Because of Jesus rising from the dead, we could now have a relationship with God again. If we ask him for forgiveness in our lives and we commit to living our lives for him. So the thing we need to take away today is that, remember, Jesus has risen. He's not dead. He is alive. And we can celebrate that together. But also, don't just hold this to yourself. Go and tell others that Jesus is alive, that he has risen. Because that is the amazing celebration of this day that we need to proclaim and tell to other people. Because it's so fantastic. We just can't keep it to ourselves. So today, as you're maybe enjoying the different ways of celebrating Hope Fest as a family, I hope that you can enjoy and celebrate the resurrection of our wonderful Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for your son, Jesus. We thank you that he died for us and that he took the punishment that we deserved for our sin, all the things we've done wrong. Thank you that he rose again and he conquered death and he conquered our sin. He beat them both so that we might have eternal life with you, God. We praise you and we thank you and we celebrate your amazing love for us that you showed us by sending your son. Thank you, God. We celebrate your risen son, the Lord Jesus. In your name, amen. I hope you enjoyed that, kids. I hope you enjoy continuing to celebrate today that Jesus is alive. Just to let you know that from next week, Hope Kids Word is just going to be on Tuesdays and Fridays. So look out for that. I'm sure your parents will show them to you. Or you can also find them on my YouTube channel, which is Leeds United 060606 on there. I hope you have a great rest of Hope Fest Day. Remember, Jesus is alive. Celebration!